Good morning, my friends. It is Tuesday, December 26th. It is the second day of Christmas. Remember, Christmas is not a day, it's 12 days. And our celebration should just be beginning. Easter is 50 days. In the biblical times, they didn't celebrate things for one day. They were much smarter than us. I have with me our Advent wreath, now our Christmas wreath, which is fully lit and filling the world with light. I have also with me this wonderful cat, Pistachio, who we haven't seen in a while, but has been feeling particularly like being patted this morning. Yes, I know. She's a wonderful cat. And we have this beautiful scene of this amaryllis, which reminds me of angels, which is leaning now. It's so full of blooms. And a nativity scene made by my sons, Luke, Jake, and Max. But today we've aimed, added some camels and a sheep. The sheep is quite remarkable. He's more like a blob. He was made when Max was very small. Our Lord Jesus has come into the world. Today and for the next few days, we're going to focus on the beautiful and mystical Gospel of John. John is a unique book unlike any other. It is more like a poem made up of seven signs and seven sayings. But it begins just like the whole of Scripture begins in the book of Genesis, in the beginning, but this time John says, was the Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. When I was uh, studying in seminary, I took a year off to serve at this very cathedral as an intern. I had to translate the Gospel of John from the Greek. And this first sentence stumped me because the verb is not perfect. It's not, it doesn't end. It's it really, the better translation is, in the beginning, the word was ongoing. In the beginning, the word was ongoing. So was the word ever created? Or was it always there? Interestingly, in the book of Genesis in the Hebrew, also it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, but it could be translated as in a beginning. So in other words, the scripture tells us that we can't get back there. We don't know the beginning of all things. That's God's territory. We don't know if it happened once or could have happened many times, if it was something that never really began or if there was in fact some time that it did begin. It's just beyond our fathoming and really can't be translated. But we do know this, that Jesus, the incarnation of God, was the word, was the communication of the divine to us, the ultimate form of communication, because we couldn't understand God. We couldn't understand that we didn't have to earn God's favor. We couldn't understand the love that God has for us, that God poured out for us at the beginning of all things and, and continues to pour out in the creation. We couldn't get it, so God became human flesh to show us what love looks like in our language. The Word became flesh, dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the feast that is Christmas, for the celebration that lasts for days, for your son who came among us to tell us something, to communicate with us in a way that we could understand, to tell us of your love, your unconditional love, that you are willing to be born a helpless child to die a humiliating death, and still you will come again and you will love us. That your love cannot be erased or eradicated and is beyond comprehension. We thank you for the gift of your son. 
And in this holiday season, we ask you to bless those who are alone, those who are hungry, those who mourn. We ask you to bless those who are sick, those who are incarcerated or homeless, addicted, struggling with mental health. We ask you to guide us today, Lord, that we may incarnate your word into the world and show your love to others. We thank you for the gift of this beautiful earth that you have made and from which we see great beauty. Give us wisdom, bring us peace, and guide our steps today, Lord. This we pray in the name of Jesus, the holy child of God. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.